Oh loving Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you. You are truly the most high God. You are truly the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you Lord for this great opportunity that you have given us. Thank you for all the facilities that you have provided us to listen to your word. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus we ask you, O Spirit of God, teach us and reveal to us the secrets of your kingdom. Speak to each one of us, O Lord, your word that will bring forth complete transformation in our life. Make this preaching and teaching very, very easy to understand. And we believe, O Lord, what you are going to teach us, it will transform our life and our life will never be the same again. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What is the meaning of the word, word? What do you understand by the word, word? See, I, I, those, those who are speaking Marathi, okay, I'll go very slowly. Can you understand my English? Thoda samjat nai? Okay. Those who speak Konkani. Konkani speaking, only Konkani speaking. Tuka Marathi Sumzata. Very good. Chala. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I call it netikade. Speaker Kutola Gumadena. Praise the Lord. This side you can hear. This side you can hear. Praise God. Shabda Manjakai. What is the meaning of the word word? What is the word? The Bible teaches us. That word is a thing. Prabhucha Shabda Amara Shikoto ki Shabda ek vastu ahe. Ani e je vastu ahe, e atmik ahe. The word is not a natural thing, it is a spiritual thing. Can I speak in English and Marathi? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And ye je shabd hai, ye atmik vastu hai. And ya atmik vastu dware Parmeshwar ni he sansar banolo. It is through this spiritual thing that God created natural thing. All things were created by His word. Please open to Hebrews 11.3. Hebrews 11.3. What is it saying? By faith we understand that the world was created or the world was framed by the word of God so that the things that we see were not made of things that are seen but were made of things that are unseen hallelujah hallelujah how many of you believe that word Anybody having a Marathi Bible? Marathi Bible hai? Vatsa Vatsa?
विश्वास ने आम कलटे देवाचार शब्दा ने आ रचना जाली अशी की जे दिसते ते आ जे दिसते त्याच्यातून झाले नाही प्रेस द लॉड प्रेस द लॉड तर जे काय आम्हाला दिसते त्याच्याने झाले नाही परंतु त्यांच्या त्यांच्या शब्दाने झाले हॅव यू एव्हर सीन अ माउंटन बेबी अ रिअल माउंटन नॉट अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ माउंटन अ रिअल माउंटन वॉट इज इट मेड ऑफ वॉट इज द रॉ मटेरियल ऑफ अ माउंटन रॉक्स सॅन्ड ट्रीज अँड ऑल दॅट अँड ऑल युअर आन्सर्स आर रॉंग वॉट इज द माउंटन मेड ऑफ Look what she gave me an answer. The raw material of a mountain is the word of God. <laughs> the raw material of a mountain is a The answer is right. We just now read that by faith we understand that the world was created by the if the world was created by the word of god how do you understand you understand by faith and not by sight you are trying to understand by your five senses and god's word says you cannot understand by your five senses because there is no physical evidence of the world being created by the word of god there is only one evidence and that is called the faith evidence and then he says the things that you see were not made of things that are seen but were made of things that are unseen it's there in the bible did he say they were made of things that are not existing he did not say they were made of things that are not existing in other words he said they were existing and they are existing but you can't see it so according to this word which world is more powerful and more real the unseen world but which world do we believe more and that's what god's word says that the word of god is so powerful that it has the power to create things for you amen but is our life rooted on that in other words if you want to create anything in your life you require the raw material and the raw material for everything that you ever see is the word of god so word of god is a spiritual thing that connects you to the spiritual thing and brings things from the spiritual to the natural if you ask me a few years back i had a desire for this retreat house but i did not have the resources but i had the raw material called the word of god and it is through this word of god that god used the word to bring things from the spiritual to the natural and the thing that connected to the spiritual world is our faith is a is a praise the lord so anything that you want to change in your life the tool or the weapon that you need to change anything in your life is what the word of god the word of god has the power to create your future and this word of god is the real thing 
this word of god is alive this word of god is powerful this word of god has the power to operate people this word of god has the power to have an effect on you this word of god can change anybody's thinking and this word of god can make your future so how many of us every day cling on to the word of god and draw the word of god as a source for our life hello you said you got a slip disk right yeah please come here please stand in the morning when i called out people please stand in the morning when i called out people she did not stand those who stood up they got healed the one who did not stand why she did not get healed not because she did not stand she must have had other thoughts in her mind praise god now what kind of thoughts do you have in your mind that jesus will heal me and uh, then you won't get healed because that's what we go wrong that jesus will heal me whereas god's word says when jesus hung on the cross he took your sickness and he already declared you are healed hallelujah now i want to ask you does this word which is a spiritual thing has the power to fix a slip disk yeah yeah so what scripture will fix it up because we learned that by faith we understand so what scripture is going to fix a bone you know what we are doing brother with that one scripture by the stripes and wounds of jesus i am healed with that one spoon or one knife you are going into a battle into a war come on give me some other scripture ha huh? come here hold a hand and say that word close your eyes and concentrate and say no 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 no, no, no. just hands just, like just say the word her body is the body of christ and satan has no power over her her body is the body of christ and satan has no power over her satan has no power over me say that again and the satan has no power over me i am the body of christ i am the body of christ and satan and satan has no power over me has no power over me say that again I am the body of Christ and the Satan has no power over me. Say that again. I am the body of Christ and Satan has no power over me. Say that again. I am the body of Christ and the Satan has no power over me. Say that again. I am the body of Christ and the Satan has no no power over me. Again. And the Satan of and I am the body of Christ and the Satan has no power over me. I am the body of Christ and the satan has no power the bones are getting fixed up praise god keep saying keep saying keep saying hallelujah hallelujah isn't that easy don't get scared she is alive hallelujah so when you use the word of god and you believe the word of god the word of god will perform the miracle now do what you could not do dala <laughs> operation successful praise god How many years you are suffering? 
थ्री इयर्स इज इट ईजी इज इट ईजी ना वॉट विल वी से गो अराउंड एंड टेल एवरीबॉडी प्रे फॉर मी प्रे ऑन मी प्रे विथ मी प्रे अंडर मी यू नो वॉट यू नीड इज द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड यू नो वॉट यू नीड द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड प्रेस द लॉर्ड वी विल से दिस स्क्रिप्चर फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स एवरी वन ऑफ अस and each one of us will experience the power of god working in our life wherever there is a bondage or wherever things are hidden it shall be completely destroyed are you ready i said are you ready okay close your eyes oh heavenly father we want to thank you and praise you your word is alive your word is active your word is powerful o oh lord sharper than any two edged sword it shall not come back empty o lord it shall accomplish the purpose for which it has been sent forth o mighty god i thank you and praise you as your people open their mouth and start speaking your word o lord your word brings life and every spirit of death and every spirit that brings forth curse shall be destroyed right now in the name of jesus come on everybody open your mouth and say it i am the body of christ and satan you have no power no place in me i am the body of christ satan you have no power no place in me i am the body of christ satan you have no power no place in me come on open your mouth satan you have no power no place in me i am the body of christ satan you have no power no place in me i am the body of christ satan you have no power and no place in me i am the body of christ and satan you have no power and no place in me I am the body of Christ and Satan you have no power and no place in me. I am the body of Christ. Come on, come on, open your mouth. Come on everybody Close your eyes Francis I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me I am the body of Christ Satan you have no power no place in me praise the lord This is how you pray. This is how you speak. And when you do it again and again and again, the spirit of God will help you to change your thinking. If anybody seated here wants to change their life, wants to change their future, the master key to it is to change your thinking. My friend, everything in your life is going to depend the way you think. If your thinking is wrong then your harvest will be wrong 
If your thinking is right in line with God's word, you are always going to walk victorious. No matter what opposition comes against you, no matter how much the devil will try to afflict you, you cannot be defeated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you who are seated here will be saying, Oh God, I want you to bless me. I want you to change my life. I want you to do this and I want you to do that. Open your Bible to Matthew chapter 12 and verse number 35. What does it say? Matthew 12, 35. A good God, a good God, a good God. No, 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 read in your Bible. Is it God? A good God, a good God, a good person brings good things out of the treasure of his heart, and an evil person brings forth evil things. Out of the treasures of his heart. Now, now. These are the words of Jesus. So my friend. Who brings out good things in your life. And who brings the bad things in your life. So can you blame. God or the devil. Or somebody. Because of which. Your life is in a mess. Hello. Hello. So if your heart is filled with the word of God and you make the word of God as the most precious treasure of your life and you load your heart with this treasure day and night, my friend, every day of your life will be a blessing. Not only for you, but you will be a blessing wherever you go because your heart is overflowing is overflowing with the word of God. Now, for this word to enter your heart, is it going to be easy? It's always going to take labor. If you pray to God and you say, God, I'm going to make a prayer and all these scriptures, you'll plant it in my heart and I will know it by heart. It won't happen. You'll have to labor. You'll have to spend time. You will have to make yourself available to God and the more and more time that you spend and ask God to give you the desire for it and when the desire begins to increase and you get more and more in the word of God like my brother Camillo said that he got addicted to the word of God let me tell you I got addicted to the word of God and when I, I got addicted to the word of God I found myself different because when I was going in the prayer group and all that I was finding something is wrong with me because I could speak only one thing, the word of God. I could not speak anything else. And I thought I was gone crazy. When I joined the seminary and we were doing the word ministry, they were talking about movies, they were talking about all those things. Nobody would sit with me for one year. Because if they sit with me, my mouth would open with only word of God. And I found myself, believe me, for one year, I spent my lunch break behind the seminary wall sitting on the door and sitting by the door on the stairs and crying and saying God why do these people don't understand what I'm saying one year nobody would be talking to me and the next year the new batch came and praise be to God when the new batch came they were hungry dogs who had not been fed for years Praise be to God. When I began to open my mouth and feed them, praise be to God. They were so hungry, they even licked the floor where they were fed. Praise God. Hallelujah. My preaching ministry started not in front of the seminary, behind the seminary. Every lunch break, we used to meet together, we used to share the word of God, and mighty things happened back door. And I did not know one year God was telling me, come on son, labor and plant those seeds in your heart. And praise be to God, every time I would open my mouth and speak God's word, that word would never come back empty. It would accomplish the purpose and the plan of God. And there were signs, there were wonders. And let me tell you, the secret of this is 
द वर्ड इन योर हार्ट हाल लोहिया the more and more time that you spend with the word and you start making that word your 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 master and begin to submit to that word i challenge anybody seated here if your life doesn't change come and meet me and say brother that's a lie it will make a complete change in your future hallelujah you know what you need in this world you need only the influence of the word of god in this world you do not need any people's influence you need the influence of the creator and you can get the influence of the creator by a cable and the name of that cable is the word of god <laughs> hallelujah just as this cable is connected to the mixer and to the uh, amplifier so is the word of god connected to the heart of god Hallelujah Say that a good man That's me My heart is loaded with the word of God My heart is overflowing with the word of God Now somebody sitting next to you will be saying you don't know one scripture and how can you say that you tell your neighbor I'm speaking my faith man Faith faith has got no evidence Hello faith has got no evidence I am speaking my faith and praise be to God if you start speaking faith every day of your life what you are speaking will begin to manifest and when it will begin to manifest the person who questioned you will be saying this fellow was sitting side of me like a fool but praise be to God look what the lord has done galli mein sikhata tha na us din correct na In those days people found it difficult to believe what I was speaking but today things have changed spend more and more time in the word of god begin to memorize it begin to speak it begin to talk begin to renew your mind change your thinking i remember when i read that scripture when you lay hands on the sick they shall recover i began to look at my hand and i began to wonder lord that's good He said in my name you shall cast out demons. Do you know I cast out demon the first person in my life when I was just 1 month old in the Lord. And thank God for that scripture. Because I quickly changed my mind and I said God, thank you that you did not say a person who believes after 10 years. You said if I believe right now, I am able to cast out demon in your name right now. <laughs> 